If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss a video in the future. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Friday the 13th game video. Today we are going over the brand new patch that just launched in the game, which came with quite a few pleasant surprises. First of all, five new environmental kills have been added to the game, all of which are pretty brutal and pretty awesome. I actually have these kills recorded, and I'm going to show you all of those right now. Take a look. Like I said, pretty brutal and just enough to add a nice new mixture of kills into the game. Of course the update also came with Fox, a brand new counselor who you may remember from Friday the 13th Part 3. Fox's stats are pretty great with her composure being a 6, luck 3, repair 6, speed 4, stamina 5, stealth 4, and strength at a 7. She's all around the strongest female character in the game is going to be great for taking down Jason, especially when attempting to kill him. Now, she also comes with quite a few new outfits that look great. They also finally resolved issues with players leaving mid-kill. Now, once a kill is activated, the player who is Jason will get XP instantly and get credit for the kill. Leaving mid-kill will no longer take credit away from Jason. Now, this is huge. Since players have been asking for this since the second the game came out, it was extremely annoying not getting credit for a clean sweep when you clearly deserved one. Now the patch also added some cool new gameplay elements, one of which is extremely beneficial to counselors since it lets counselors see the location of any parts on the map after they are dropped by any other counselor. So if you pick up gas, battery, keys, propeller, or fuse, and either you drop it or die with it, it will show the icon of the part on the map and its location, helping everyone find the part later. Also if you escape with the part, it will respawn somewhere else and will show up on the map. So this should change gameplay up quite a bit actually, definitely helping counselors out tremendously. Hopefully it doesn't make it too easy for counselors to escape. Also benefiting counselors, Tommy Jarvis has a new update which has him now spawning with a med spray and a pocket knife already equipped. The point of this is to make Tommy more of a hero and to help out other counselors more. However, I feel like this may make him a little overpowered, especially for those that are attempting to kill Jason. Tommy coming in with these items really gives players an advantage over Jason. Tommy will also receive XP now if he is nearby escaping counselors, as well if he dies before others escape. Many people spawn with Tommy and just go for the escape right away. This update is meant to encourage helping other counselors rather than just go for that escape every single time. The next big element of the patch is something we really didn't expect at all, and that is Tommy tapes. These tapes are now a new element of the progression part of the menu and will be similar to that of Pamela tapes. There will be 13 of these, but we don't know what they will contain at this time. Now we actually got a sneak peek at these Tommy tapes when Adam Green, who is the director and writer of the Hatchet series, came on and spoke about the tapes. He actually had the honor of writing a narrative about Tommy, and it turned into these tapes. They also gave us an exclusive look at one of the tapes, Tommy Tape number 3. Let's take a look at the trailer. Hi, I'm Adam Green, creator of movies like The Hatchet Franchise, Frozen, and Digging Up the Marrow. Over the past few months, I have had the distinct pleasure of getting to work with the creators of Friday the 13th, the video game. Now, if you're anything like me, one of your favorite characters in the series, besides Jason Voorhees, is Tommy Jarvis. And I've always wondered, what happened to Tommy Jarvis? Like, in between parts four and five, or, or after part six? Well, I got to answer those questions by writing a narrative that you get to experience through collectible tapes that can now be found in Friday the 13th, the video game. So without any further ado, I present to you an excerpt of the Jarvis tapes.
Hi, Tommy. Hey, Lauren. Here, uh, I wanted to show you my newest mask. Oh, wow. She's beautiful. And interesting ears. Does she have a name? That's Arwen. She's the elf princess from a book I'm reading. Ah, Lord of the Rings. Whoa. You know something? You're pretty rad for an older lady. I'm going to choose to take that as a compliment, young man. <laughs> so, with Trish leaving for college this fall, she and I have been speaking about the next steps for your treatment. I'm sick of treatment. Aren't I done yet? Tommy, it's only been a year since everything happened. We have a long way to go. And with how things have been lately, we actually need to step your therapy up a few notches. Just because of one stupid fight? Eleven fights, Tommy. But... I have wonderful news. I've spoken to my associates at that special hospital I told you about, and they've accepted you. They have an incredible staff that's perfect for this next, more aggressive phase of your treatment. Plus, you'll get to be with other kids like you. You mean crazy? You're not crazy, Tommy. You've just been through a major trauma. But now you'll be around other kids who have had similar experiences. It's an exceptional program, the best there is in the country. Really? Really. You're going to thrive there. I know it. Trish and I are going to bring you there tomorrow. Can Gordon come with me? It's a hospital, Tommy. You know the rules about pets. Oh, man. Can I bring my masks? Absolutely. Now, start packing, mister. Patient responded positively to being institutionalized, prescribing Thorazine for the first two weeks of acclimation just as a precaution. Dr. Neil Gordon will take over as Jarvis's primary physician once admitted at Weston Psychiatric Hospital in Springwood. So I guess it's time to start hunting for these tapes and hopefully they aren't impossible to find. Although not part of the patch, we also had some new DLC drop, one being the Counselor Halloween costumes, and the other being a kill pack for Part 4 Jason, which comes with three new and unique kills. We will upload a video soon revealing those kills, so make sure you are looking out for that. But that pretty much covers the entire update. What do you guys think about it? Are you excited for it? Do you like the new gameplay elements? Let us know in the comments below. But with that, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>